All right, hi Capricorn, this is gonna be your reading. This is for Capricorn placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Be sure to flip the script and pick what side of the story you're on. So we're using the Cosmic Insights Oracle and the uh, Neurotic Feminine Tarot deck to clarify some new decks, okay. So we got moving, okay. So change your residence, moving in with your partner. So some of you guys could be moving, okay. You, you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Uh, somebody could be moving out, moving in. We have cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. So I think Gemini had got that. You could be dealing with the Gemini. I have Gemini in your chart. We have yes, luck is on your side. What else for Capricorn placement? You could be moving with a partner. Why? Well, yeah, I think I said that. Or somebody could be moving. Oh, moving on. Okay. Somebody could be moving out. <laughs> Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. Libra had got something like that. So you can have Libra on your chart or you could be dealing with one. Communicate. Compromise. Forgive and work it out. And sexuality. Scorpio had got this. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Somebody here could be on a down note. It could be a water sign. Go watch Scorpio's reading because they had that crazy. <laughs> Somebody here could be on a down low or somebody still trying to figure out what they want to do with themselves, period. Whether straight or whatever. Let's see. What's moving? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's some type of change going on. Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter Energy uh, Sagittarius. Some of you guys do need to change your residence, okay? There is some type, there could be changes going on within the home. All right. Um, let's move on. You could be changing things up in your home or changing or re-renovating re things if you're not physically moving. What's moving for Capricorn? There could be stagnancy in your home, the energy. So some of you guys may need to move some stuff around. Yeah, the hangman, Pisces. Somebody could be surrendering some type of property or a home here. The hangman is about a shift in their perspective. Somebody seeing something from a different angle. Some of you guys may need to shift your perspective about a move or about somebody moving out, moving on, or whatever. Okay. Yeah, what's this hangman? I mean, what's the Will of Fortune? What's the Will of Fortune? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be a Gemini. Somebody could be a June Gemini, June Cancer. Heavy Pisces here. Somebody could be in their feelings about some type of move, some type of change that's happening within a home or family dynamic. What's this Queen of Cups? Some, yeah, somebody here could be in their feelings. Someone's feelings could be changing. Yeah, Four of Wands, Venus and Aries, Five of Pentacles, Mercury and Taurus. Yeah, somebody, some of you guys could be married to this person. Again, you could live with someone. Somebody could be losing a home here. This could be some a mother figure, the child of some the mother, someone's child, or a father. I'm getting mother, someone's child here. This could be somebody in your family, a close friend of yours, someone in your neighborhood. Somebody could also be giving you their home. Somebody's definitely moving out or leaving or losing something. Yeah, what's this five of pentacles and four of wands? For Capricorn. Yeah, seven of cups. Something this could come by itself. This could come as a surprise. Somebody could need a place to stay, Capricorn. Venus and Scorpio. Yeah, King of Wands. It could be a Cancer or a Leo. July Cancer, July Leo. Yeah, 
uh, somebody could so maybe this move could be coming in pretty fast because some somebody here could be confused here this five of pentacles is like a, a lack mindset somebody feeling abandoned somebody could need to move in with someone here oh that could be what's happening what's this hey man Ooh. the two of swords here you need to use your maybe some of you guys are confused about this you may feel like this is too happening too fast for some of you guys somebody may not be as excited about it what's the hangman or uh, whether it's about somebody moving in or somebody moving out or whatever changes are happening within this family dynamic what's this hangman somebody here could work at night somebody could be a bartender um somebody could work at a restaurant somebody yeah I don't know, somebody could be struggling with, somebody could be struggling with substance abuse as well. Drinking, alcohol, drugs. And that could be why somebody is like leaving or losing something. Nine of Wands here, Sagittarius. Somebody could be a November Scorpio or November Sag. Yeah, I feel like somebody is a, could be letting something or somebody go so they can break free. Yeah, the lovers here. Gemini energy, two of cups in reverse. Yeah. So maybe two people live together, but they're not together. They may have kids together. Yeah. Or oh, this person has, yeah, somebody here could have a child with someone. Death in reverse. Somebody's resisting some type of change. I don't know. Somebody could be crying about this. Somebody could have abandonment issues here. There's a choice that needs to be made, too, with this lovers here, Gemini energy, Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is about taking a risk here. Being brave, following your passion. What's the, what's the Knight of Wands? The Knights are messengers, so expect the message. Coming in so yeah the hero fawn taurus energy somebody's definitely married or committed here yeah this makes so you guys so this moving is okay so you could be just helping somebody out or somebody's helping you out and this ends up turning into a commitment of some kind i'm not gonna lie i i'm kind of getting somebody that's a bit of a what's this love what's this seven of cups yeah, Ace of Wands here. In reverse. Yeah, something is somebody's not happy about this. Because somebody may feel like this is going to push a commitment. Somebody could be trying to push for like a commitment so they can hurry up and move in with somebody or have a place to stay. It's giving hobo sexual. I'm not going to lie. Or something here. Somebody is like rushing into, yeah. And what's this hair fall? Somebody rushed into a marriage. What's this hair fall? This could be a cultural thing. I don't know. What's the hero font? Somebody could be really traditional or they could be using religion and tradition to get their way. What's this hero font? Somebody's going to have to make a sacrifice. Hero font. Yeah, the sun in reverse. Somebody is not, again, the ace of wands is a challenge. So I don't know if somebody's hap. Somebody may have to move back home or somebody's gonna or moving somebody moved out of a home and someone's not happy or somebody moved in somewhere and moved out and whatever it is the sun in reverse leo energy somebody's depressed they're they're not happy they're being pessimistic It's like, I don't want to say, it's like something that was just maybe sex has turned into something serious too fast or I don't know. And now it's like somebody's just not, somebody's not happy. The sun in reverse. Somebody here could either be hospitalized, they, they, they could be sick to the justice here libra energy yeah there's something that's happening really fast so this could be paperwork you guys may have to sign some things again this could be about property overseas for some of you 
So some of you guys may have to travel overseas to sign something for a home, something that could be yours or something that somebody surrendered to you and somebody else is not happy about it. So something could be going your way and somebody's not happy about it because they're going to be losing. Okay, for some of you guys, what's the sun in reverse? Yeah, King of Swords here. This could be like a lawyer, a judge or something. Aquarius, Capricorn energy. Somebody could be a January. Somebody could ride motorcycles and bikes. Somebody could be a January Aquarius or a January Capricorn. Yeah, Two of Swords here. Moon and Libra. Somebody's really cold. They're really being brute. They're a bit closed off. Yeah, there's a decision that needs to be made here about some type of move two of swords somebody needs to be honest about something yeah ten of cups yeah oh mars and pisces so this could be about a pregnancy here taurus libra energy somebody here could be pregnant so, so i don't know Somebody could be getting a divorce, or this could be because the King of Swords is normally a divorcee, or somebody that's getting broken, somebody that's breaking up with somebody, or I don't know. You could be feeling, in, somebody's feeling indifferent about something, and it could be because there's kids involved here, or this could affect kids if there are kids that live with you or with this person. Yeah, this could be somebody's baby mother or the mother of somebody's child here. But is, um, is somebody here is very codependent. So they could be using a pregnancy, using kids, or they're going to try to keep somebody what stuck. Um, this could be a mother figure. This could be your mother here that's not happy about this. Or maybe your mother needs to move back in with you. This could be somebody in your family, a sibling, a close friend. Take it how it resonates. It's going to, you know, be different for everybody. Ten of Pentacles in reverse is... Yeah, somebody could be losing a lot of money. This could be about an inheritance here. A loss of wealth, a loss of something is losing value. The longer something sits, the longer this land, this home sits, the, the more it loses its value. Okay, for some of you guys, this is about a property. Somebody here could be into real estate or invest in properties. This could be like a two family home thing or something like that. So somebody could not, somebody may not know what to do because there are kids involved here or somebody's trying to you know, blindside somebody with something. What's, let's move on. What's cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning? Yeah, five of wands, a lot of conflict, fighting, Saturn and Leo. Yeah, a lot of fighting, arguments, conflict. This could be conflict. This is like a, a continuation. It's like the same cycle. It's, rep it's repetitive. It's re it's, it just repeats itself. Somebody's just, somebody needs to grow up. Somebody's very codependent. They just look for people to like mooch off of or live off of. They get into relationships. They rush into commitments for that. It's like somebody can't really be on their own. They, I don't know. What's the cycles here? They promise for Capricorn. Yeah, Page of Cups. This could be fights about a child. You could be dealing with the Leo strength card energy. Something is just, somebody is just very immature, very childish. They don't want to grow up. It's like somebody's in a never-ending cycle. What's five of wands? Yeah, the moon here. Pisces, Cancer energy. So does somebody, so yeah, the emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Some of you guys are being too passive about a situation. You need to act on something. Some of you guys need more structure. You need, to, you, need to have, you need to start taking charge. You need to start, like, getting a move on stuff. Yeah, the moon in reverse, the sun, the moon upright, the sun in reverse. Yeah, you guys are being, you're, somebody's conscious is not kicking in. Somebody is, like, sleep or they're conscious. They're, somebody's not really awakened. Somebody's, and this could be somebody here that smokes a lot. 
or drinks a lot, smokes a lot, somebody is doing something in excess that keeps them from like really seeing clearly, that keeps them kind of blinded. Somebody's in some type of illusion and some type of fantasy with somebody that they have kids with or a child with or something like that. Somebody needs to move out of a home possibly. Yeah, the moon with the five of wands, somebody's having, somebody's battling something with their subconscious. And this is what they, and this, or somebody here is doing like chaos magic. They could be even putting shit in person's food or they could be using a child here or kids, whatever. Yeah, temperance, Sagittarius. Somebody's doing something in excess that's keeping them from really seeing clearly. And it could be drugs, it could be sex, it could be alcohol. It could be, it's something that somebody's doing. Somebody's under an illusion. They can't really see or they or they they're yeah somebody is resisting some type of change death in reverse scorpio what's this in here yeah judgment somebody has a big decision to make they're fighting with themselves about this somebody could want to move in with somebody but they don't want to they're afraid of repeating the same cycle with, that they did with someone else this is a big decision it's yeah five of cups and it, and it may end up being a missed opportunity. Somebody knows that if they don't make a decision, if they don't act on something, it's going to be a missed opportunity. Yeah, what's this judgment here? Somebody's like, yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody, there's like a sense of urgency here. Gemini energy. Somebody could be a male, Gemini or Taurus. Somebody could be coming in like at the last minute to like somebody it's like this sense of urgency. Something is some yeah, you know what? Somebody's in a cycle, the death is in reverse, somebody's not changing, so they just keep going through this endless cycle with somebody or with different just different people with the same situations with different people. That somebody's not growing, they're not learning. Somebody's like in this fantasy, they're in la la land, they're in somebody's delusional, they're in like a fantasy land, it could be spell work. King of Cups, this could be someone that you have a child with or you are with. Yeah, Magician in Reverse, Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody is like manipulating the energies here to keep somebody stuck, to make them feel guilty. To, somebody could be playing on somebody's emotions. Somebody's playing on somebody's heartstrings. They know they want to be somewhere else. They know they don't want to be with them, but they're trying to play on this person's feelings. And that's pathetic because I would never want to brag about keeping somebody with me and knowing that I have to fucking manipulate them or use kids to do so. That's pathetic. Somebody's trying to weigh somebody down. Pathetic. Knight of Swords. Yeah, the lovers. Gemini, a heavy Gemini energy. There's clearly a Gemini involved here. Maybe uh, somebody wants to go towards a Gemini. Yeah, there's a choice that needs to be made, a decision. Like this person is like one minute the king of swords like they is like they know it's like somebody's trying to use logic they somebody needs to listen to their intuition and somebody's intuition could be blocked their heart could be blocked they know what they they know what they want they see what they want but something it could be spell work i'm not or manipulation it's something that somebody's doing behind the scenes with these moon cycles possibly somebody's trying to make an impulsive decision here start arguments start fights what's the lovers or cause arguments and fights between two people the lovers the devil who cap the devil on top of the lovers baby capricorn energy who somebody has somebody in a death grip so by this somebody has someone in a death grip so this little thing i don't know whatever this yeah, somebody has somebody in a death grip. I don't think it's bad, to be honest. Someone could be, this could be codependency. It could be addictions. The, uh, this this is intense. And and Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo or somebody that has Leo in their chart, you may want to watch Leo's reading. Somebody is going to take a chance on something. They're going to do something. They're going to take a risk. They're going to reach out. They're going to say something because somebody can't contain whatever this is they're feeling. Somebody may want to express their feelings. What's this page of cups? Oof. What's the devil? Why is the devil here? 
the strain oh my god leo energy go watch leo's reading somebody has a death grip on somebody this could be like a past life situation somebody's like fighting themselves but they can't fight these fucking feelings somebody's been trying to hold back what's this page of cups Woo. yeah the fool here Aquarius energy. Yeah, somebody's trying to play on somebody's like innocence here or use a child, like I said. Somebody is like trying to play on somebody's heartstrings to keep them stuck, to keep them scared. Somebody could feel foolish. Or they are or they, they don't want to be the fool or play the fool again, maybe. What's the fool in reverse? Ooh, this is intense. Yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Again, repeating three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's not learning their lessons. Somebody's not learning from their past mistakes. Somebody's letting maybe sex or lust kind of override their maybe logic or clarity or something. Moon and Sagittarius with this nine of wands in reverse. Somebody is a, somebody is like in the endless cycle. Nine of Wands. Yeah, nine of swords. Now somebody is stressed. Mars and uh I heard Mars and Libra. <clears throat> Mars and I heard okay, so I'm gonna tell this is nine of swords is Mars and Gemini, but I'm gonna tell you what I heard. Mars and Scorpio, Libra, Aries, Cancer, Taurus, and Sag. And Leo. Yeah, somebody is stressed out. Somebody could have went and moved somebody in or moved out, moved in or did whatever. Somebody repeated something again or they, it's like somebody's not learning. Somebody's intuition is suppressed. Somebody could be having emotional outbursts. There could be fertility issues for someone here. Somebody's very codependent there. And somebody dabbles in spell work. Somebody is like living with a witch, <laughs> like a dark witch. Nine of swords. It's like somebody feels like they're in this endless cycle that they can't get out of. And this could be like a past life issue that somebody has. Somebody's going to have to face something or face somebody head on. With the Knight of Swords and the Judgment, somebody's going to have to face something head on. Face this karma, face this lesson, face themselves in order to slay this demon, which is whoever they're stuck to, whether it's family, friends, a partner, whoever. Nine of Swords, addictions, sex addictions, whatever. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Mercury in Virgo. Somebody could be in debt really bad. Somebody has a negative relationship with money. Yeah, this, again, somebody here could be pregnant. So that Queen of Cups, the, king, the Page of Cups belongs to the Queen of Cups. But it don't belong to the King of Swords. So I don't know whose baby that is. And that's been coming out a lot. Somebody here... This child could belong to somebody in someone's family or a close friend to someone. Somebody that's in the same community. Wow, wow. Yeah, I hear Nova. Somebody that's in the same community of friends, family, whatever. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Something ain't right. Yeah, this is the truth. Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity. It's family secret. Something is going to be coming out. Somebody's trying to keep a cycle going so this truth can't come out. But it's going to come out anyway. Whether it's come out through court. It's going to come out because karmic. This is somebody's justice is to get out of this cycle with this person because we saw the world upright the cycle has been closed and somebody's been doing things behind the scenes to keep it going to keep it open and they're going to be getting karma for that yeah somebody could be needing somebody could be trying this is like car, some type of karmic past life that somebody can have a south node in um gemini aries leo capricorn sag Let's move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time. It's over. Somebody can't take that. Something is over. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Two, two of Wands here. Mars and uh, Aries. Queen of Swords, Virgo, Libra energy with the Queen of Swords. Somebody could be a September Virgo or Libra. September Libra or September uh, Virgo. Yeah, somebody's mind is made up. This could be a divorce, a separation, or a breakup. 
you could have been broke up with this person for some of you it's moving on and maybe these people were been broken up but they just lived together because they had kids or because of money i don't really see much pentacles it's five of pentacles upright ten of pentacles in reverse it's clearly there's no stability here nothing but bad vibes so <laughs> move on yeah eight of wands somebody is gonna move on whether somebody likes it or not mercury and sagittarius was two of wands queen of swords somebody's planning for the future somebody was been planning this breakup or been planning something and eight of pentacles but it's like somebody is like trying to come in and like fight for something somebody just can't somebody just won't let something somebody just won't let something go eight of pentacles the death in reverse yeah knight of pentacles virgo uh Leo, somebody could be an August Virgo or Leo. Four of Pentacles, somebody doesn't want to lose money. Somebody here could even be a thief. They could have taken a lot of money from you, stolen a lot of money from you. This could be somebody in your family, a mother figure, okay? Or somebody that you have the kids with, or you could be this mother figure or a father figure, flip it and switch it. But the Nine of Pentacles, somebody's fighting to work something out, but they're disloyal, they're lazy. They don't want to change. They never will change. They don't want to grow up. They don't want to do anything. They have no passions, no work ethic. They keep making promises they can't keep. They're not going nowhere in life. They're stuck, and they're going to remain stuck pretty much forever. Somebody like Eight of Wands. Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's money is real funny. Somebody is fucking broke dealing with this situation. This stagnant ass energy. And that's what happens. When you're in stagnant energy, your money becomes stagnant. No matter how hard you work, no matter what you do. If you're with the wrong person in the wrong if you're in the wrong relationship, you're not gonna nothing is gonna progress or evolve for you. Uh you got two 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 Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, they all got two two two. So go watch them if you have any one of those energies in your chart or you're dealing with somebody that does. Two of Pentacles, Jupiter, and Capricorn. Somebody's losing money fast. Somebody needs to figure out what to do. They need to figure it out quick. A lot a lot of things are changing. It's cha somebody's five of Pentacles to the fucking two. Somebody has like no money. They could they could be losing their job. They maybe not they're not getting along with co-workers. They can't find new work. It's like something is like it's with the strength card. It's like it's been going on for sight. It's never ending. It's the same shit. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the King of Wands. So there's two kings here, and uh, well, there's a pair: a King and Queen of Swords here, then a Queen of Cups, and then it's King of Wands. Leo, Cancer energy could be an Aries or a Sag. Yeah, somebody could, some of you guys, with all these changes, you may need to, some of you guys are going to have to kind of be adaptable, be flexible, and learn how to adjust and pivot, okay? Some of you guys are going to have to take action in your life here. You can't wait on other people to do it for you, especially for my feminines, in the wands. Yeah, two of cups. Venus and Cancer, so all the twos are out here. Definitely a decision needs to be made. Somebody needs to have the strength and courage to do this. What's the two of cups? Yeah, king of pentacles, queen of wands in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody could be, some, yeah. Somebody's a dark witch and they shapeshift. This could be a woman, it could be a man, but somebody could be, could, a man could be a warlock. This heavy Aries and Pisces energy, heavy Aries. And we got Taurus here. Somebody here can also go both ways. Somebody could, what's this two of cups? Somebody could be bi. This could be same sex. Yeah, five of cups. Mars and Scorpio. Regret, sadness, grief, depression. Somebody's going to take action on a connection or on a partnership here. Five of Pentacles. Uh, you could be seeing five, five, five. Yeah, there's a lot of changes going on in somebody's life here. Who else got that? Scorpio, Aquarius. So go check out Scorpio and Aquarius if you have that in your chart or you're dealing with one. Five of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Aquarius. Somebody's very insincere. Very moody, very wishy-washy. 
a troublemaker even. Somebody's trying to cause trouble because they're sad that somebody wants to go be with somebody else. They're trying to disturb somebody's peace because of this. Somebody is spiteful. They're petty. And somebody wants to break free. Somebody's doing spell work on somebody's finances or to keep somebody stuck and giving to them, committed to them, or go back to them is pathetic. Or to whatever. Knight of Cups in reverse. Pathetic ass shit. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's only somebody could be trying to love bomb you or somebody here, and it's only for money. That's all that's yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's a gold digger. Somebody can have Taurus or Libra in their chart. Somebody's a gold digger. All they care about is I rest my case. Nothing else to say. It could be somebody could be a December Capricorn or December Sag. This could be somebody that you have a child with. You could have grown up with them. Okay. Somebody's a, this could be somebody's mother. Somebody's a gold digger. And somebody's a dark wish. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse practices spell work. And they're disloyal. They're a cheater. They're disloyal. The, we saw the Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody sleeps around, sleeps around with somebody's friends, people in their fucking family possibly, or tries to, or has. Somebody could even be pregnant or gotten pregnant by somebody's friend or family or close family member or whatever. Whether they kept it or not, it, it happened. That That's going to end up coming out. Somebody's trying to do everything to keep this secret under wraps. Law of Attraction. The Queen of Pentacles is very greedy, very selfish. They're lazy. They're sloppy. They're messy. They're, they're not a good parent. They're codependent. And they do spell work. They do root magic to keep people and shit bound to them because they're lazy. This is like a past life. Somebody's like battling a past life karmic relationship from somebody's like, this is like a karmic from somebody's past life. And they, whatever lesson they didn't learn from the past life, this person, they got back with this person, probably had a kid or kids with this person. Again, this could be you Capricorn. Okay. Inspired action. Take action when feel desire. Follow intuition. Synchronicity supported by universe. Somebody's not following their intuition, though. Somebody's not following their intuition. It's suppressed. And it could be because somebody here may need to get, balance, get, you know, get their life in order, remain grounded. Somebody could be overwhelmed, depressed, moody, sad. Somebody could be a workaholic, too. It's like somebody's doing everything but putting an end to what needs to put an end to this. Somebody here is trying to distract somebody from moving forward, from making changes. They're trying to keep them stuck on a certain frequency because they know if this person makes changes, if say they if it's oh they stop smoking or stop drinking or they start doing healthier things, they know this person's gonna wake up and see things much clearly and have the strength and courage and confidence to break away from them. They don't want that. So what do they do? Oh, let's smoke, oh let's drink, oh let's fuck you know, they 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 do things to keep that person subdued pretty much keep them in a state of fucking like this person may not even know this person is like time passes and this person can't even fucking tell that they're like in some type of like they're in they're, they're like a walking dead pretty much the walking dead when you don't change and you don't grow you're dead things that you, things that don't change or grow are either dead or fake They won't change or grow. Somebody just won't. They won't. It's like they want to keep, they want to fight for something, but they don't want to change or grow. They never will. Or at least, and some people just won't change while they're still with certain people. Sometimes you just are never going to change with that person you've been with since y'all were teenagers or since you guys were in your 20s or whatever. Sometimes people just need to go their separate way. Somebody needs to move on. It's over. It's over. Somebody just won't let up. It's over. Pack it up. Like, what's not clicking? Seriously, like, what's not clicking? Like, seriously, it's pathetic. It's like, it's like, come on. It's really pathetic. Like, I don't give a fuck who feel offended. It's pathetic. <laughs> you got to manipulate somebody, do all of this to keep them stuck to you when they don't want to fucking be with you. you and you got to look yourself in the mirror and feel good about yourself. That's pathetic. 
inner peace or you're trying to disturb somebody else's peace because your your situation and you're miserable you're pathetic i don't care inner peace clearing past ancient trauma physical mental and spiritual practices love inner child aquarius just got that you can have aquarius placement so you could be on a cusp or you could be dealing with one um you can have aquarius as your moon rising or venus okay or your person does whatever observe not getting caught in the story or details total acceptance of what is step back see bigger picture somebody just can't accept what the fuck it is mayhem your manifestation is happening current issue reveals past wounds spiritual growth hang tight yeah somebody's going through an awakening Somebody could be upset, bless you. Somebody could be obsessed on who's getting this offer, who you're gonna give it to, or right, or or this could be if you're cross watching for a Capricorn, this Capricorn could be doing this. They could be obsessed with who you're cross watcher. Bless you. This it could be a Capricorn that's obsessed with who you're gonna give this offer to. Or somebody here is trying to cause trouble here because you have this coming in, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's doing spell work. Eight, what's this Ace of Pentacles? This could be somebody. This could be someone from your past that you have or a past life. This could be shit from your past life that you're dealing with now. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the star. You have some of y'all are meant to be in the spotlight. Heavy Aquarius energy. Yeah. Somebody is somebody's gonna get caught cheating or caught having sex for money or paying for sex, something. And somebody's gonna get their back turned on them. And they're gonna somebody's gonna get embarrassed. They're gonna feel stupid. They're gonna feel yeah, somebody has no more spiritual protection from doing all this spell work, from this all this stupid shit. It's, put, it's really sad. The star here. This is healing. This, you know, there's a big opportunity that's waiting for somebody as long as they do the healing work. Something could be happening in Aquarius season. Somebody needs to find balance. Yeah, there's something waiting for someone. Some of you guys could be in this. You can do something. You can do work. Some of you guys have. You can be very healing. Some of you guys have healing energy. Okay. Somebody needs to like get their chakras aligned. I don't know. But something is over and somebody's going towards something new. They're healing or they will be or they need to. Especially somebody's finances. Some of you guys may have, the Ace of Pentacles could be a new home, a new business, a new car, something new. But it's like once this is over with, somebody, the death in reverse, if you're resisting this, if whoever's watching, if you're resisting this change, if you're not going to make these changes, if you're not going to put an end to this, you're going to be stuck and stagnant. You're going to have to watch somebody else get your opportunity. Or it's just going to be a wishful thinking. Some of you guys do have a wish coming in. Okay, you got to remain hopeful, remain optimistic. Some of you guys have a big Aquarius placement somewhere. You need to find out where you have Aquarius in your chart and where you have Leo in your chart. Something about your purpose, your destiny, your path, okay? But anyways, this was your reading. Capricorn, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.